today I'm going to be showing you how to um, finish and stain an old reclaimed barnwood floor for one of our trailers. For this project, um, one of the first things you're going to need is a palm sander and we just put some 220 grit sandpaper on there um, to just take down the splinters and the roughness of the wood. Next you're going to need is, we like to use an angled um, paintbrush to paint the stain on with our two-part stain. Um, you're going to need a mixing bucket with the measurements on it to do the different ratios. Um, we're going to need some cotton um, just rags to wipe off the stain when we're done with it. And then when we're, gonna, when we're done with the rags, you put them in a bucket with cold water so um, they do not catch on fire. Our first step is sanding it. We don't really have to do too much to it, so I'm just going to go over it pretty lightly and evenly. Alright, so the next step after sanding the wood is we're going to clean it off and using an air hose compressor just to get all the sawdust and dirt out of the wood. Um, if you don't have that, you could easily just use a brush or a broom or something. We just want to have a clean slate before we stain the floor. So we have the wood all cleaned up. Now it's time to mix our stain. Um, we are just using a Rubio Monocoat. Um, it's pure, so it's just clear pretty much. We don't want to uh, make anything the wood isn't. We just kind of want to bring out the natural characteristics of the refurbished barn wood. All right, so after we're done mixing up the stain to its appropriate ratios, we're just ready to start painting the stain on the wood. Um, a couple things to keep in mind is just start from one side of the wood you're going to be working on to another, working in zones about five or ten minutes. So that's how long we can have the stain um, on the wood for, no longer than 15 minutes. So now that we've finished staining all the wood flooring, we are going to um, clean it up with a rag. And this part, you just want to go ahead and get all the stain off that you can, as much as possible, and go from where you started to where you ended, so it has the same amount of um, staining time on it. Um, and then after you get all the stain off of it, you're just going to go ahead and um, let it dry. We just stood ours up against the trailer, but just make sure no wood is touching one another's big marks. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. Um, hope you learned something turning this barn wood into this barn wood. And I um, hope you come back and see the full installation.